I'm Abby, and I'm on a mission to transform the way you see cooking in small spaces. Your dorm, condo, or boarding house. Let's make it fun, creative, and most of all, delicious. I'm so excited for this video because I'm not only cooking, but I'm also sharing my experiences, tricks, and techniques. And for our first episode, I'm taking you back to my college days when I relied heavily on one kitchen companion. The humble rice cooker. I'm making four dishes today that will take your rice cooker game to a whole new level. Our first dish is mushrooms. This is an appetizer and this is probably the cheapest and the fastest out of all the recipes we're going to do today. You just gotta drain your canned mushrooms and we're also gonna chop some garlic. I think familiar naman tayo lahat sa uh, fried garlic, yung pinangtatap sa mga aros caldo, ganyan. So we just mince the garlic ng ganun kalalaki. Our best friend for today ay ang rice cooker. Ang context nito is, no first year college ako, I stayed in a dorm outside UP when we had a kitchen, pero bawal ang ibang appliances. Only rice cooker. So, yun lang yung pwede namin gamitin magluto. Little does our landlord know. <gasps> you can make it an adobo cooker and also a mushroom cooker. Iyon lang natin yung cook mode. And then, we're gonna fill this with olive oil. Olive oil? Tapos, ano? College students? Sinong bumibili ng olive oil? Pwede namang hindi. We don't have to heat the oil too much. We can put in our garlic already. So, gusto lang natin to mag-crisp up. So, low heat lang to para ma-dehydrate talaga yung garlic. And at the same time, we're also flavoring our oil. So, tostado na ang ating garlic. Now, we're just gonna have to set this aside. Parang ginawa niya sa'yo. Okay. So, okay lang na may matirang onti-onting garlic. Mushrooms. So, drained dito. But expect that there would be some moisture left. Kaya... Medyo magwe-wait pa tayo bago siya mag-brown. But our goal really is to get some color on these. And bantayan nyo lang yung rice cooker nyo kasi uh, what happens is sometimes mapupunta siya dun sa warm mode. So maglo-lower yung heat. And we want to brown these. So kailangan yung high heat option yung meron tayo. Diba? Di mo kalahing ma-achieve mo yung ganyan. Just to finish it off, flash of soy sauce. So medyo i-dry out lang natin ito. And we're basically done. Okay, now this just needs to be plated. I like to serve it with more soy sauce and more olive oil. Guys, mukha siyang simple. Pero kung college student ka, mama mia, that's such a nice snack. And then, itatop lang natin siya with our crispy garlic and some few cracks of black pepper. And that is it, guys. This is what I ate in college kapag kailangan ko na ng snack. So, how do you eat this? Just dip it in the soy sauce, ng bahagya, and then in the olive oil. Super simple, super easy, but really satisfying. Mwah. The chewiness, the crunch from the garlic, so good. This next recipe is something more filling, but still affordable for a student's allowance. We're making porridge. Unahin natin yung eggs. Season with salt. Para mas maluto yung ibabaw ng egg, you can also close the rice cooker. Now the eggs are cooked. We just set this aside. Then, tuloy-tuloy lang, dito na rin natin ifa-fry yung bacon. So it's also nice that you trace the outlines of the rice cooker when you're cooking this bacon. Kasi we're trying to make a smiley face here. Two eggs and one smiley bacon strip. So just let it brown, let it cook, let it let the fat render. Now our bacon is cooked, just how I like it. So meron na tayong wonderful fond or yung mga natitirang nakadikit sa pan. That's full of flavor. So this is jasmine rice. So di ba normally pag gagawa tayo ng arroz caldo or lugaw or porridge, we would use malagkit. Rice in, I already washed it para ka lang nagsasaing. And then... We're also gonna add water, pero more than you would usually add pagka magsasaing ka. So obviously, this recipe would take about one hour to make. 
Pero marami siyang downtime. So, if you're a college student and you're making this, you could have your study materials or your laptop beside you and then mag-aaral ka na lang or keep yourself busy while waiting for this to cook kasi you would have to stir it occasionally also. So now, most of the liquid has been absorbed and the rice is plump af. Look at that. To this, we're gonna add finely minced garlic, ginger, a chicken bouillon cube. Give this a good mix until mag-melt yung chicken bouillon cube. Then titikman natin siya if it needs more salt. We're gonna add patis. Be careful when you're tasting because it's very hot. Para siyang lava. So now, I know how much patis to put in. And also a few cracks of black pepper. Give it a final mix. Ngayon natin plan na natin siya according to our taste. It's time to serve. Can you think of something more comforting? Nag all nighters ka, tapos the same morning, you know you ace the exams. So you deserve something good. This is something you would make to feel that. Mm, I could eat this every day. Our next recipe is an ulam. So, sa dorm kasi, usually, you would have rice cookers and magsasain ka for the entire day. Assuming that you've cooked your rice already and you want something different for lunch or dinner. So, we're making beef gyudon. Super easy, super quick. So, naghiwa lang ako ng scallions. We also need onions. Chop them into thin slices like this. Ngayon, gagawa na tayo ng pinakasabaw niya. It's just a mixture of soy sauce and mirin. And we're also gonna add in here, dapat dashi. But I understand that's something difficult to source. And mas common sa atin ay all-in-one seasoning. I also added some sugar, the rice cooker. So, wag kayo ma-intimidate. Ito ay rice cooker lang din, pero may ringtone. Ay, 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 I'm a little butterfly. Okay, so in a rice cooker, add oil. And in goes yung onion. Then our soy sauce mixture. Now it's boiling, we're gonna add our thinly sliced beef. This is sukiyaki cut. So you can buy this already cut in the grocery stores. Make sure not to overcook this. Just simmer it until all that pink is gone. And about 90% done, we're gonna crack in some eggs. Now let the residual heat cook it. Now all we need is a hefty bowl of rice. Sesame seeds. And the scallions. Grabe, naniniwala ba kayong dorm food to? Para ka na rin kumain sa labas. And I cooked this in a rice cooker! I'm so proud. And I'm so excited. Ang tagal ko nang hindi ginawa to sa buhay ko. And the memories these recipes bring to me are priceless. Pero mahal pa rin ang baka. Ang sarap. Feeling ko deserve ng lahat ng college students yung ganito. If you have the opportunity to do this, just go. Our fourth recipe for today is finally a dessert. We're gonna make mango sticky rice. The medyo easy version para magawa natin siya sa rice cooker lang. So this is malagkit or sticky rice. I already washed it. At optionally, pwede mo din siyang ibabad sa tubig para mas mag open up siya and mas maganda yung magiging luto sa kanya. Okay? Then, sasaing lang natin siya para tayong magsasaing for dinner. Now, we just have to cook this like your typical rice. While the rice is cooking, we're gonna make our sweet coconut mixture. We just pour two cans of coconut milk. We're gonna sweeten this with sugar. And also, don't forget the salt. Now, we bring this to the microwave para magmelt yung sugar and the salt. Now, the coconut milk has been heated and our sticky rice has been cooked. We're gonna grab some of this rice and we're gonna give it what it wants. We're gonna add just enough to sweeten the rice. Let it stand for a few minutes to let the rice soak all of that liquid. Now for the rest of the coconut milk, we're gonna thicken this with slurry. Dilute your cornstarch with some water. Give it a mix. Then add it to the coconut milk. Now we can heat this again in the microwave, 30 seconds interval. 
Make sure to mix it in between those intervals just so it doesn't burn in the bottom or so it doesn't form lumps. Now, this is the consistency you want. Actually, it's runny pa siya ngayon because it's still hot, but it will thicken as it cools down. Now, all we need to do is assemble. Get a bowl para hindi dumikit yung rice and your soaked rice. Then we're gonna invert this on a plate. And the only fresh ingredient we have for this recipe are mangoes. So when you make this, lahat naman ay shelf stable. So canned coconut milk, rice, sugar. But make sure to pay your wet market or your fruit stand a visit because you will need this. Now we're just gonna add toasted sesame seeds to top this. And finally, the thickened coconut milk. If hindi pa kayo makonvince gawin to, bay ewan ko na lang. Grabe naglalawa yung mga tao dito. We're so excited to try this. I think a lot of Filipinos will love this because it combines the familiar flavors of coconut milk and rice and also yung mga ingredients ito ay available dito sa Pilipinas. Mm, sarap. This is why my dorm life was never boring and yours should be. How about you? What are your dorm food stories? Leave them in the comments. We'd love to include them in our next episode. I hope you enjoy this one and see you guys next time.